that if you've been abandoned as an adult, how does big you and little you work? Well, if you've been abandoned as an, as an adult, it triggers all of the feelings that you, all of the cumulative feelings that you've had all your life from any kind of loss or disconnection. And like I said, some people have had very happy childhoods. You know, they can't identify a trauma. Then they might say, well, but my grandmother died when I was seven, you know, something like that. But but everybody was born, so everyone has the fear. So when you talk about little you, you're talking about the most innocent emotional part of yourself that has all of your, your worries, your sadness, your excitement, your anticipation of, oh, how exciting something is coming up. It contains all of your emotions, positive and negative. And that's little you. So it doesn't have to be just the abandoned, traumatized part. It can just be just the innermost part of yourself. Okay, so it doesn't have to be, yes. The innermost part of yourself, your inner child. Let's yes. You know, it's the inner child within your inner child because you, we've all heard of our inner child, but this is like the littlest, the most basic part of your feelings like if you and i had a three-hour conversation and we really got down to our feelings we might actually talk about some of the most basic fears or sadness or whatever um it's that it's the inner child within the inner child you're connecting with the real core of yourself you know and it's it's something you, you acquire, the dialogue helps you do it. It's a step-by-step -step program. It's a step-by-step -step -step process. Yes. What is the difference? How could we um, sort of characterize the difference between the inner inner child and the outer child? What's well, the, the outer child is the part that acts it out. So let's say my inner child, let's just say, um, my inner child is feeling lonely. Um, a little worried that I'll always be alone or, you know, a little scared that, you know, I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Okay. So let's say my inner child is feeling sort of abandoned and lonely. And my outer child says, Oh, I'll help you. I'll go. Let's go get some ice cream because your outer child's always looking for immediate gratification, an easy answer, an easy fix. But my adult self says, that's not going to satisfy little me. Little me is feeling lonely, let's say. So I'm going to call an old friend and set up a telephone conversation or a Zoom with, with an old friend. That's what, that connection is what I really need, not the ice cream. So outer child is always looking for the quick fix or the reaction to something. Whereas your adult self is looking for the real solution and your inner child is just the emotional part that needs and wants. The outer child acts it out maybe inappropriately and the adult says, move aside, I've got a better idea. Oh, that's a, that's a very, um, very um, clear explanation now of what the difference is and how we need to approach the inner child so it's it's for someone who's gone through abandonment and um the person feels hurt and feels that the child who is still talking to the husband is sort of betraying her which part of her is hurting or well, which part of her is the inner child is feeling the desperation the adult the adult self might be confused and needs to really do some work on what would be the best thing. And the outer child is doing what feels, what it wants to do, talking to the husband, you know, the outer child sabotaging the situation. 